So you're doing your thing as a manager, as a supervisor. You're just working. Everything is great. But then you get this weird feeling. Like somebody's trying to screw you over. This one employee just seems to be off. And everything you ask of them, they roll their eyes. They question you in public. You, you might be dealing with somebody who is trying to sabotage you. You might be dealing with a staff member, an employee, who is trying to undermine your authority. Welcome to the channel, Leadership with Mike. On this channel, I help you become a more confident leader, and I do this with no nonsense sense, if that makes any sense. How do you know if one of your employees is trying to sabotage your career, is trying to sabotage your position, is trying to undermine everything that you request? Here's the signs that I would look for. First off, I personally don't have any issue with somebody questioning me in public. If we are having a town hall, a group meeting, a conference, whatever it might be, and somebody has questions, I welcome that. But you know when somebody has a question that they're trying to throw you under the bus or they're trying to make you look like an idiot. They're not asking for their own knowledge. They're asking to try to trip you up, to try to make you look silly in front of your peers, in front of your boss. On the flip side, it could be something as simple as you make a request, as a boss usually does, and they sit back, they roll their eyes, like they're a high school kid, just pure attitude coming towards you. That way is less abrasive, it's less in your face, but it is equally undermining your authority. And typically, when somebody is trying to undermine you, you will give them instructions, you will give them a request of things that need to be done and how you might want it done without micromanaging. I know we don't do that. But you'll say, okay, we want to do this and we got to call this person by this time. And this staff member is not buying it. They hear everything you're saying. They know all of the things that you've asked of them, but they're going to do it their way. And they're going to make the tweaks that they want. And they may not give you the results you were hoping for. And all of this is in an effort to undermine you. So what you need to know is what can you do when you have somebody undermining you? First of all, this isn't even one of the points, but I want to make sure you understand. If you have somebody undermining you, you need to address it immediately. You can't sit back and just let it fester. This will not blow over. And if you don't course correct this one employee, you will eventually get two, three, four, five, a team of employees who don't have respect for you because you did not assert yourself as the boss, as an authority figure, as somebody who has a certain expectation. So what can you do as a boss, as a leader? What are you going to do? The first thing I want you to do is just let's think about this. Is there a reason that you know of why this person might be giving you pushback? Did you have a relationship with this person before? Were you promoted over this person. I've been in situations where people have been promoted over me. And to be honest, it's awkward. I like to look at myself as a mature adult. And I believe when I want to, I handle things in an adult-like fashion. But feelings can get hurt when somebody else get a, gets a promotion. So we need to just understand that. I'm not saying it's acceptable. I'm saying, let's sit back and think, is there a reason why this person may be giving me pushback? The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to chat about it. There is no point in hiding from this situation. So I want you to meet with this employee. Have a casual, this is not like an official, we're having a meeting. Let's have a casual conversation. I want you to give them the benefit of the doubt. I want you to come to them, not necessarily as a friend, 
but in a friendly, peaceful manner. Let's try to understand. But in this conversation, you're also calling out the behavior. You're saying, I see you and I see what's happening and it's not okay. So let's figure this out now. Again, this isn't an official disciplinary meeting. This is a casual conversation between colleagues, between people that work together. Try to understand where there might be resentment, why you might be getting some pushback. A lot of times at this step, when you simply just acknowledge the elephant in the room, the situation dissipates. It goes away. Because a lot of people, they have this bravado. They have this screw the man. Until that person calls them out. Then they realize, maybe I'm not doing it the right way. <laughs> maybe I need to sit this one out. Again, this is, in my experience, nine times out of ten, if you can casually, calmly just call out the BS and have a conversation about it, it is handled at that point. If it's not, we got plans, we're moving forward. And what you're going to do is you're going to set expectations. You're going to explain that when they give you pushback, how does it affect you and your job? How does it affect the team? How does the team work with that awkwardness that's in the air? It probably doesn't work very well. You're also going to be saying and setting the expectation of how they will communicate with you, how you expect their work to be done, and how you will be giving them the respect as a professional, but you expect that in return. We also want to make clear that we are not telling this person they are not allowed to question us. They're not allowed to make a scene in front of a bunch of people. If there's something that they don't like, we can set time aside to go over their questions and help them understand. Not to necessarily bend our ways, but we do want to make sure that there's clarity, that there is an understanding as to what needs to be done, why, how, and when. That's not a problem. But we're setting the expectations firmly. The next thing, after we've set the expectations, is we want to constantly, consistently follow up. What that means is, if you have somebody and they're still giving you the eye rolls, don't walk by. Deal with that situation then and there, or as quickly and conveniently as you can. Pull them in. This isn't to have an uproar or a blast in front of other teammates. It becomes a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Can I see you in my office? Again, we go over the expectations. The eye rolling, the attitude, the belittling in front of other staff members is not acceptable. On the flip side, if you see that their buy-in has changed and they're coming and they're helping and they're not giving attitude, they're giving, uh, you know, asking the right questions in the proper tone, make sure you call that out too. Make sure you show how you appreciate it. You also want to make sure, and I've talked about this in other videos, but you want to make sure you are documenting, documenting, documenting. Because if this staff member, if this person continues to push back, continues to belittle, continues to undermine your authority, this will have to escalate. And you need to have written down everything that you've done, everything that they've done, and how it's affected the work, the team, whatever it might be. But have everything documented so that when the time comes, and hopefully it doesn't, but it might, where you have to sit down with HR, when you have to sit down with the union, when you have to sit down in front of somebody else and justify why this person will be terminated, suspended, why they need to be transferred, why you need help in the situation, your documentation is what will save you. You cannot go, yeah, I remember there was a time. No, you wanna know what day and what time this happened, what was said, who was around. Keep your documentation. Listen, one of the hard truths of leadership is that we are going to have people pushing back against us. We are going to have people that want to try and undermine our authority. 
But in this video, I talk about another hard truth of leadership. At the end of the day, leadership is not easy. But if you watch this video, we can help make it simple. I'll see you over there.